What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and this is part 2 in my intro tutorial series where I show you how to make a really cool intro using Cinema 4D and we're going to add some effects in After Effects. Um, if you haven't seen part 1, I strongly suggest you go and watch it. In part 1 we made this backplate, which the text will hit, and we put the text in. Um, I did show this last time, uh, the kind of intro we're going to be making is the Predator Cinema intro, I'll play it again for you. So it's pretty nice. Uh, the got the text hitting the back plate, and then the uh, we've got the letters hitting the back plate, and then the text rolling in. Today, I am only going to focus on the materials and kind of setting up the scene. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I'll do animation in part three. So the first thing you want to do is down in the materials panel, uh, we're going to double click, make a new material, and this is all down to you, whatever colour you want your intro to be. Um, I'm going to have a dark purple and then you want to tick the reflection box and set the texture to Fresnel and then bring the brightness and the mix strength right down. So my brightness is on put that on 5% and my mix strength on 10%. Uh, my next material is going to be white, I think. Um, white or black or dark grey are probably the best ones, but I'm going to use white for this. So I'm going to press OK, put reflection on again, go to Fresnel, uh, make that 5, make that 10. And the um, last two materials, we're going to make a shiny material, which is going to have a colour of black and then just tick the reflection, don't change the texture to Fresnel, just tick it, so we've got this really like, mirror-like material and the reason we've got that is to um, kind of imitate these shiny edges just a minute uh, here, uh, the shiny edges on the back plate and the text uh, there are two ways of doing this, you could make a shiny, um, like a reflective grey material or you could do it this way that I'm showing you, make a mirror material, which I much prefer, it gives it a really nice effect. And then the very last material is going to be white again, but this time we're not going to tick reflection, we're going to tick luminance and just leave the luminance like that. So we've got our four materials and now you just need to drag them on to wherever you want them. So I want my text to be purple and don't forget if you've got the text at the back you need to drag it onto that as well and my back plate is going to be white render this out there we go we've got purple white uh, and lastly for the text and back plate I'm going to add this shiny material so you want to add it to all the objects in your scene that you want the shiny material to be on and then click on them here, uh, to save time you can click on the first one, hold shift and then click on the last one, so we've got our three shiny materials selected come down to this box here that says selection and type in R1 that will put it onto the edges, if I render this now, you see they've got a black outline once we've added some light, uh, this will become kind of shiny and really reflective and look really good uh, R1 only puts it on the front bevels so um, we're going to want to put it on the back ones as well so we're going to highlight all of these hold control drag them and then just drag it on there we go so now we've got two shiny materials on each one um, one of them will say R1 and then you want to change the second one to R2 change this there we go so now if I render this, we've got it on the front, and if I spin round, we've also got it on the back, which is really good. Okay, so let's spin back round. Now we want to add some light and make it look really cool. Now there are several ways of doing this. You can use Grayscale Gorilla's HDRI Like It Pro. Um, I'm reluctant to use that. Uh, I do have it. 
However, I know a lot of other people don't have it, and I want this tutorial to be accessible to everybody. I want everybody to be able to do what I show you um, I'm doing. So I don't think I'll use that. Um, another way is adding lights. You can add some different lights. And lastly, my favorite way is adding a plane or disc. And that is why we made this really bright white luminance material. I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to drag it under the text. And then you need to drag it over it. And then we're going to angle it almost like a spotlight Just a minute almost like a spotlight we're going to angle it towards the text drag it up so it's over the text and it's a bit small it doesn't really cover the um it's not with the same width as the text you really want it wider so it will shine all over it so we're going to put the height up and put the width up a lot there we go that'll light the scene nicely and if you want the back reflected as well then you can do control C control V to duplicate it and then rotate this one that way and then drag it behind it doesn't have to be perfect there we go okay so the last step um, for these is to add the luminance material and there we go now as you can see this will be quite annoying trying to do the animation with these massive things in the way and you will see them once you've rendered the intro and it will look rubbish because you probably won't even be able to see what's going on so to um, hide them in the view we're in at the moment which is unrendered this is not the render view you should see two grey dots light grey dots next to the green arrow uh, green tick sorry and the top green dot if you click it once it will turn green tick it click it again and it will turn red and it will disappear and do the same with the other plane double click the top dot they're still there however you can't see them in this view and they won't get in your way now if I render it you'll see they're still there to get rid of that just right click go to cinema 4d tags compositing and untick scene by camera. You can then do the same for the other one. Compositing, untick scene by camera. And if we zoom in on the text now and render this out, there we go. We've got really nice reflective text with these reflective edges. Gives it a really nice effect. And I think that looks really cool. So you can play around. Um, if you do have Grayscale Gorillas, HDRI like kit pro and i do suggest you get it it's um a very good tool to have for cinema 4d uh then you can obviously use that that will be really nice for lighting um i'm sorry we didn't really get up to much in this tutorial uh, materials is quite essential really because uh it's the main one of the main parts in your intro if you've got rubbish materials it won't look very good uh, in part three we'll be covering animation uh, if you want to go back and see part one, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I might put an annotation. But this is Cruise Designs, and I'll see you in part three. Thanks for watching.